Hey guys, Sid from Sid's Trains here, and today is January 14th of 2022, and just this morning, Lionel put out their 2022 Volume 1 catalog, and this catalog's been talked about a lot over the past couple weeks with my friends, and we've been really excited about it, and we already know one thing that's in it, and it's this engine right here on the, the cover, the new Vision Line Class A. But everything else we haven't really known much about. So let's dive into this catalog and make sure to go check out my friend RJ from RJ's Trains video on the catalog. And Chris's Trains and Things is doing a video right after mine. He's premiering a video right after mine. So go check it out. But let's move on to the catalog. This cover is really nice. I, I kind of like that it's an actual train, not just a um, animation or something like that. So here's all the normal stuff. There's always the table of contents and stuff like that. And right here, here's one of the big things is Lionel has announced the, the Lionel Base 3 and Cab 3 app. This is a new system from them. This is going to be replacing the 990 command set. They're not making that anymore and instead are making this. This is going to be a universal style base that will be controlled by an app and then you can control all your different Lionel trains, Legacy, TMCC, and all the various Lion Chief versions they've made over the years. I'm not gonna dive too much into this now because we don't know a lot about it right now. Lionel's probably going to announce more things over time, but if you wanna learn more about it, just read uh, the stuff here on the page, and of course, wait for Lionel to announce more. I don't wanna make any speculations about things without knowing what Lionel's actually going to do. But I'm, I'm pretty excited for this, and uh, the one interesting thing, if I zoom in down here, is this new feature. It's four-digit addressing. That's kind of interesting to me. Uh, DCC has had that for a long time, and Lionel seems to be ad adopting that feature and putting it into new engines, into new engines, and specifically the Vision Line Class A right here. And... Uh, that'll be kind of interesting. It'll probably become a standard feature over time. But to start out, it'll be kind of an exclusive feature to the Vision Line Class A. Moving on, we have more stuff here. So as you can see, there's the, uh, the Cab 3 base, which is uh, has an MSRP of $500 or $499.99. And it's pretty interesting. It looks like a Hellgate bridge. A lot of switches and buttons on it. And uh, here's some... Uh, the stuff for it and if you notice it has some program run switches on it probably for the lion chief um and bluetooth pairing as it says there uh pretty interesting uh sadly lionel is not making the 990 remote anymore uh, so if you do want a remote you will have to purchase either one second hand or they still are selling the cab 1l controller which can be linked to this base and as it says there, it can also support 10 controllers at the same time and any combination of the Cab 1L, Cab 2, or the Cab 3 app. I really think, I'm just taking this all in right now. This is kind of my first time looking at it, and it's very interesting. I don't think I'll order one of these to start out because I want to see what it's all about. Uh, I don't want, I would rather wait for things to kind of settle, Lionel to have a good plan with this, and then I'll purchase one. Here's the Cab 3 app. It definitely looks a lot better than the Lion Chief app, but I really hope they can get better speed control out of this app because the Lion Chief app, the speed control is not very good. You're either going or you're not. There's no kind of in-between. So moving on, we have the actual O scale section, and here's a little sneak peek of one of the things, uh, the O60. And here we go. Here's the Vision Line Class A. Let's move on. And I, this one right here is the one I'm excited about. But moving on, here's the first page. And this is going to be an awesome engine. I'm an N&W person, and I'm very happy to see that Lionel is making a Vision Line N&W engine. Sadly, Lionel kind of hyped up the feature or the special feature. And instead of it being something like a new smoke feature or some kind of animated feature it is just the four digit addressing 
as you can see with the features list right here. Am I super disappointed in it? Not really. I can't really complain. I'm just happy in general that they're making this engine. And as you can see, they have four main features. They have the whistle steam, the safety steam, the four digit addressing, and the stereo sounds with sounds in both parts of the engine. And down here, we see the first version of the Class A. It is the 1218 excursion version, which is probably going to be very popular. Uh, the MSRP on these uh, is $2,099.99. And of course, uh, through a good dealer, you can get a better price. And I'm going to be ordering my trains from a store that myself, RJ, and Chris's Trains and Things went to. It's called Toy Trains and Collectibles in Manassas, Virginia. Great people, great prices, and I'm very happy to have become friends with the people there. And I'm going to be ordering all of my pre-orders from this catalog from them. Because they're just very nice people and you want to support a nice store. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So if you guys are in the Manassas area or in general just want to get good prices on your pre-orders, call them up and place your pre-orders with them. But uh, moving on, down here we have the Norfolk Southern Excursion Coach 4-Pack. It's kind of interesting. I think they're releasing these with the Class A because the Class A was part of the uh, Steam program. Uh, though these probably can go with the OCS cars, the uh, Office Car Special. I don't know. I'm not a big uh, NS guy. But uh, they do look like those cars. And either way, they'll look good with whatever Norfolk Southern or NW engine you want to pull with them. Over here, we have two more versions. This version right here is the one that I'm excited for. It is the Norfolk and Western 1238 Class A. And I really like this one because look at this. Roller bearing rods, the Class A tender extensions, and cast pi the cast pilot with the after cooler. All of that is really cool to me. And I'm just very excited because I love those big rods on the sides. And it's kind of interesting that they're blackening them. I probably would have liked them just the normal silver. But... You live with what you get, and I'm really excited to order this engine. Next is the prototype version, number 1200. It's really different, has a different pilot. It has the short, or the different Y3 tender, has the normal rods, and it's really interesting looking because it has no lettering on the tender, just has it on the cab. And if you noticed, this one has a graphite front all over, but the other ones only have a graphite boiler front, not the whole firebox. Kind of interesting. Moving on, we have more Class A's. We have another different looking one, number 1210, which is the World War II version. Uh, that would probably look really good pulling some military cars or something like that. I really like the way it looks. Down here, we have another kind of normal post-1945 version. Uh, it looks like 1218, uh, but it's 1211. We then have down here 1222. It's a LCCA exclusive. So it looks basically the same as uh, 1238, but instead it's 1222. Yeah, I'm looking at all the features. It's the same as 1238, but instead it's just 1222, and it's through the LCCA. And then up here we have two... One's a fantasy and one's just the pilot model. The pilot model is the unpainted version with all the brass detail exposed. Really cool looking. This one looks like the generic 1218 and I really like the way that looks. And then up, then up here we have a what if passenger scheme. It was like what if the 1218 or the Class A in general pulled passenger trains and this is what it would look like. It's the... 611J scheme with that stripe on the tender. And from what it looks like, it's just like 1218, the generic Class A, normal tender, normal rods. Overall, looks pretty good. Uh, hopefully, Lionel can get the color on the tender right, though. So moving on, we have the Vision Horse Cars. Uh, not much to say about these. Uh, they don't really look like the real-life counterparts, or at least from what I've researched, but... People will still buy them, and it's kind of interesting nonetheless. 
we have the return of the Vision stock car, three packs. A lot of nice road names. We have Santa Fe, Baltimore, Ohio, New York Central, UP, Swift, and Northern Pacific. Glad to see Lionel uh, bringing these back because people really like these. Plus, they have the sound car. So, definitely a cool item to see back. Moving on to the Legacy Steam. We have the Legacy 2104s. And these are the MTH tooling for the Santa Fe 2104. It's really cool to see that they have this 5011, 5022 uh, class uh, 2104 tooling now. And uh, it's kind of, it's also interesting that it looks like they uh, are going to have the feature where you can change the stacks. Uh, that's really cool to see. They have Whistle Steam, Fan German Smoke. It is, of course, new tooling for Lionel. And really happy to see that Lionel is making these. We have two Santa Fe in the normal black scheme. We have a War Bonnet, which is probably going to be gorgeous. Then we have some fantasy or kind of what if. Uh, this Pennsylvania one's kind of interesting because the Pennsylvania leased the Santa Fe 2104s in the later years of the Steam era, uh, but they never have one that looked like this. But uh, these seem to have the Berkshire tender at the back, which is kind of interesting. And of course, we also have the Kansas City Southern and a, another Kansas City Southern. Uh, both are really cool looking. I kind of like this silver boiler. And uh, they look a lot different with this other tender. Moving on, we have the return of the A1 Berkshire. Uh, this is really interesting to see. I've always loved this one down here, the Boston and Maine with that feed water heater at the front. It is awesome looking. I love these things. Uh, I will not be ordering one of these or anything else other than the Class A so far. We'll get to some other stuff I'm ordering in a minute here. But uh, so far, the, the Class A is the only thing I'm going to be ordering. Uh, but these are interesting engines. They're old K-Line tooling that's been slightly modified. They are going to have Whistle Steam this time. And there's a lot of different road names here. We have the Boston and Albany, Boston and Maine, Chicago Northwestern. This one, yeah, that one looks really funky with no feed water heater. Kind of looks like a mohawk at the front. Uh, moving down, we have the Santa Fe, the Southern Pacific, and the Tennessee, Alabama, and Georgia. That's an interesting railroad. And these look very nice and probably will be pretty good sellers since people love Berkshires. Moving on, we have the return of the Atlantics. These are the SP style Atlantic, but all of them seem to have a Mikado tender behind them. And even a, a modified Mikado tender with this oil tender down here for this uh, Missouri Pacific one. Very cool engines. Uh, I won't be ordering one of these. They're just kind of small steamers. I'm really into the bigger stuff. Plus, I have no need for an Atlantic. The Atlantics aren't really my thing. Uh, but like all Legacy engines, they're going to have whistle steam, fan driven smoke. And of course, they have the road specific detailing on some of these, like the tenders and possibly some of the marker lights and things like that. I really like the New York Central and Southern one here. Those look really sharp. And uh, they'll probably sell really well because they're small steam engines. And they're a pretty decent price, $899.99. With a, a, a dealer discount, they'll, they'll be more affordable. And people will definitely buy these. Moving on, we have a cobble together of Lionel and MTH tooling. We have the 060s. And you would think it's a B6 switcher, but no. This is the MTH USRA 060 switcher see if you look closely this is not a b6 this is the mth tooling for the engine but if you look at the back that's a lionel 080 tender and if you zoom in really close that has a bunch of different draw bars and connections because lionel was probably using a prototype for this photo and uh, it looks really nice i am not going to be ordering one of these because i am not a big switcher guy i buy switchers and then I sell them because I don't run them my layouts just two big loops there's no yard to do switching and there's no tracks to get the cars in and out of the yards I do have without getting in the way of the main line so I'm not going to be purchasing one of these however there are two that are really interesting to me the first one is the Strasbourg one Lionel has been doing a lot of scale Strasbourg items uh, it's not very accurate to Strasbourg 31 but People will always buy stuff even if it's not accurate because at the end of the day, people, these are models. These aren't super 
crazy accurate pieces of engineering. They're model trains running on three rail track. If you're if you're really into the scale stuff, well, this is the wrong place because sure you can find really nice three rail scale products, but we're running on three rail three rails. You can't change that. And then the other one is this uh, Washington Terminal one. Uh, my buddy RJ definitely uh, likes this one, but uh, again, there's some inaccurate parts about it and that might uh, deter some people from it but in general these are really cool to see and I really like this uh, Pennsylvania one in that green green color I like the way that looks uh, these are also a pretty decent price uh, $799.99 uh, but sadly they do not have whistle steam probably because they couldn't fit all the smoke units in in there but still a nice model that people will probably buy Moving on, we have the 040s. These are really cool engines. Again, not going to get one. Uh, they are legacy, but they're kind of pricey at uh, $699.99. But in general, cool product. So I'm going to skip over the diesels here. Uh, but here's the RS-27s, the SW-1s, the ES-44 Ace, Aces. And then we have the SD-40-2s. Uh, the SD90 Max, and another page of SD90s, and I'm just skipping over these because I'm not into diesels all that much, so if you want to check them out, in the description is the link to the catalog. Uh, here we have the F40 PHs, cool to see these return, uh, very interesting uh, paint schemes, there's the normal Amtrak ones, there's a the, uh, Salute Our Veterans version, and then here's some Amtrak passenger cars. Uh, here is the CSX business train, the newer version with the F40 and the, the B&O style paint scheme. That's really cool to see Lionel making that. Here's the ski train. Lots of people that love the Rio Grande will definitely buy this. And uh, more cab uh, cabbage units for the F40s. Really cool to see that. Very interesting paint schemes. Uh, we have the F7s in uh, various paint schemes here. Uh, very nice, very nice models. Uh, all throughout uh, lots of cool paint schemes with these f7s I know some people are going to definitely love this one right here this pink set uh, I believe this set down here is actually the uh, the former OCS uh, Norfolk Southern OCS engines uh, pretty sure uh, JD Stucks told me that but uh, these pink these pink ones and these pink cars are definitely gonna sell well uh, this set right here it's going to sell very well. It's an ore train. People love ore cars. And with these F7s, this uh, Bessemer and Lake Erie ore train will sell very well. And it's at a pretty decent price. Uh, I believe it comes with, if I look here closely, uh, it has 12 ore cars in a, in a caboose. And then the uh, the AB consist uh, for uh, 1150 is basically what it's going to cost. And that's a pretty pretty good wait no <laughs> wrong wrong place wrong uh, wrong number this is the price for just the ab set my, my bad down here is the uh, price for the set still a really good price for 12 ore cars that's a lot of ore cars and they're even making add-on packs so that could be a really long train at the end of the day uh, really cool stuff out of this here is another uh, mth uh tooling uh it is the uh Union Pacific rocket booster train. It it consists of a UP diesel, which I believe is an ES44, and then all these various cars. It's this really long train that MTH has made in the past, and it's uh, really cool. These cars are have these big canisters on top. There's the passenger car, and then there's the rocket booster uh, flat car. The rocket booster flat car looks like this up here. It's really cool to see Lionel making such an in interesting product like this. And the whole train is a really good deal. It's uh, $16.99.99, and with a dealer discount, that could be even better. So a lot of people are definitely going to be interested in this, and I'm just happy to see Lionel doing inter interesting products in general. Uh, we have some more uh, freight sets here, or a passenger set and a freight set, but uh, and some more wood-sided coaches. I don't know why Lionel is doing these all that much because uh, probably get their money's worth out of the tooling, but a lot of weird random road names in this catalog. Uh, more of these. 
And I'm going to try and skip quickly to, uh, well, there's this. I, I'm going to skip to something here in a second. But here are the two bay hoppers. I'm going to be ordering this two pack of NW ones. I really like the way these look because they're not just the generic GLA. But then down here we have some GLAs with the Pensy and uh, the West Penn Power and the Westmoreland Colm. And then there's also a Virginia set up here. Then this this set of cars is interesting. It's a Bureau of Mines 18-inch passenger car set. Uh, kind of interesting. Probably not going to order that. It's a lot of money for two passenger cars, but still uh, really interesting overall. So I'm going to skip over all the rolling stock. I just want to get to this one item uh, that's in the back. There there are these bobbers, which are bobber cabooses from MTH. That's really interesting. But I want to skip to this one product that Lionel is going to be making in the LC 2.0 line, and that's right here. This right here, the, the doodle bug. This is an old MTH Rail King tooling. These are very interesting, like inspection bud car looking engines. Uh, they are really cool looking in these paint schemes. I like this one right here. I'm from Maryland, and of course, I love this Maryland and Pennsylvania version. I'll probably be getting this one, and they're an at an awesome price for an L, uh, LC 2.0 uh, engine. If you look at that, it's $399.99, and with a dealer discount, you'll be in the $300 range. So it's a really good price, and they even have smoke, which is even better. So definitely going to be getting one of these, and I'm really happy that Lionel put these in the catalog. Now, there's one final product that I'm going to be uh, showing, and if it'll take me a second to find it. Here it is. I'm going to be getting something that's kind of different from what I would normally do, and that's this. This is a Monsters, Inc. tank car. And I'm going to be getting this because it's so clever. It's the screen canister from the movies, and it has LEDs that operate on the side uh, when the sound is made. It's really cool that Lionel is coming up with these kind of uh, interesting products with uh, these uh, Disney and Polar Express and all these uh, various... Uh, names of movies and stuff they have i uh, i find this to be very creative and because of that i want to get it plus the leds makes it even better and it even has sound so it's a little pricey but with a dealer discount it'll be it'll be okay i'm basically paying for the monsters inc name is what i'm paying for but overall a very cool product and very happy to see that lionel has gotten creative in this catalog and made some interesting products but i'm going to scroll back to the, the the big item in this catalog and that big item is the class a i am very happy to see lionel putting out big articulated nw steam engines uh lots of great features in it are there some things that i wish they would do differently sure but overall a very cool product uh, lots of amazing features and this is the one that i will be ordering this one right here the 1238 with those roller bearing rods that are blackened, the Class A tender extensions, and that cast pilot with the after cooler. So uh, to sum up things real quickly, I will be ordering the Class A number 1238, the two-bay hop, uh, NW hoppers, the Maryland and Pennsylvania doodle bug, and then the Monsters, Inc. tank car. All those products are very interesting to me. Well going to i think they're going to look really good in person and will be good additions to my collection so very happy with this catalog if you guys miss something or you didn't see me show something definitely go down to the description click on the link to the catalog and go check it out uh, lots of amazing things in this catalog but uh, i'm going to stop here and i'm going to hand it off to chris's trains and things here in a few minutes go check out his video Lots of funny things to come in that video. And of course, more stuff with the Lionel catalog. Go check it out. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Comment below and tell others about the channel. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.